Okay, your problem um, was talking about three consecutive integers, but before I do your problem, I wanna talk about that. When you say consecutive, you're saying one right after the other. And then if you're saying even, they just have to be even numbers. And integers are either positive or negative whole numbers. So I just picked three, three consecutive even integers as an example. I just picked these numbers, 8, 10, and 12. Now, if I didn't know what those numbers were, and I'm looking for them, which is what you are doing in this problem, um, since this is an algebra problem, somebody has to be x. And it really doesn't matter which one of these three numbers you want to call x, but it is easiest if you let the smallest one be x. So I would say, all right, let's let the 8 be x. Well, if they're even numbers, they're spaced two apart. So whatever the next even consecutive integer is, it's gonna be two larger than your first one. If this one's eight, eight plus two would be 10. The next one after that would be four larger. If this one's eight, eight plus four would be 12. So algebraically speaking, I can call any three consecutive even integers. I could go with like 20, 22, and 24. If I let 20 be x, then 22 would be x plus two. It'd be 20 plus two. And 24 would be x plus four, 20 plus four. So you can, you can use x, x plus two, and x plus four for any three consecutive integers. And your problem had to do with a, um, a triangle. It said that the three sides of your triangle were three consecutive even integers. And then it also said that your perimeter was 24. So I just said, okay, well, one of the sides is X. Another side is x plus 2, and the third side is x plus 4. And then I came up with the equation that was simply, okay, well, if I am looking for perimeter, that's just the distance around the triangle, so just add up the three sides. So I added x to x plus 2 to x plus 4, and that added up to 24. And then algebraically, I mean, if I had to write it without all my colored pens, <laughs> It would just look like that, x plus x plus two plus x plus four. And then I would combine like terms. I've got one, two, three x's, and two and four adds up to six. So now I got three x plus six equals 24. And now I have to use that thing that says what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So I would subtract the six on both sides. That's gonna cancel that out. I get 3x is equal to 18. Then I would divide both sides by 3. Sorry, I kind of messed up my number there, but now those 3's cancel. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And x um, was my small, shortest side, so that would be 6. This would be 6 plus 2, which would be 8. And this would be 6 plus 4, which would be 10. So those are your three consecutive even integers. And if you checked, six plus eight plus 10 adds up to 24. So I hope that explains that problem for you.